Hi, welcome to my video. This week I'm sharing a recipe for this extremely attractive and delicious spiral vegetable tart that I saw on Pinterest and immediately knew I had to try. I did do a couple things differently to make life a bit easier, starting with this frozen pie crust. I picked it up at the store, baked it according to the instructions, and I would do this again. It really saved a lot of time. You're also going to need some beautiful summer vegetables and I chose yellow and green zucchini as well as carrots and I sliced these lengthways with my mandolin slicer. I did cut the zucchinis in a specific way before slicing them to make sure that each piece had some of the skin on it and those details can be found in the blog post along with the complete recipe so please go ahead and check that out. Now you'll see here that the slices are very flexible because I used the mandolin slicer, but I think you could probably get the same effect from a vegetable peeler. The carrot, of course, is a little bit stiffer, but it's still fairly easy to work with, and you'll see as I make this pie in the video that you can incorporate the carrot quite easily. You will also need some passata, some fresh basil leaves, as well as, you know, one to two cloves of garlic. Go ahead and blend those up, don't add any salt because uh, you're going to be using some cheese as well, any cheese you like. And that can be salty, so I would, you know, salt conservatively. Then uh, what you need to do next is layer this tomato puree along the bottom of the pie, but uh, don't lay it on too thick because you don't want the moisture from this to seep into the pie crust and weaken it along the bottom. Next, layer the cheese on top of the tomato puree. Now what I do in the next part is start to create the spiral pattern, which I guarantee you is easier than it looks. I started with a piece of zucchini and wrapped it as tightly as I could around my finger and placed it in the center of the pie. Then I picked up another piece of zucchini and wrapped it around that. Now the carrot, as I mentioned earlier, is not as flexible, but you know, if you have some smaller pieces or even if you break up a couple pieces, you'll find that it's easier to just place those strategically. And it's okay if some of the carrot pieces don't wrap completely around. In fact, it's probably better if they don't. You simply want that beautiful orange to pop out from amidst the green and yellow of the zucchini. What's more, as you continue to create this pattern, you'll notice that eventually even the zucchini pieces won't wrap completely around each other. And that's okay, because with the sauce and cheese at the bottom holding this all together, you will soon discover that this is in fact much easier than you might have thought initially. Now here you can see I'm down to my last few pieces, and when you reach this point, just try to shove things in where you can. This pie will look absolutely gorgeous, even if you let go of the pattern you started with in the beginning. Before putting your pie into the oven, you need to brush it with some oil canola oil or vegetable oil, either of those will do. And I seasoned mine with some salt and pepper as well as some dried, um, I think I used an Italian blend of dried herbs, but you know, you could use uh, Herbe de Provence and that would be great. Once you've done that, the pie needs to bake at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now when this pie comes out of the oven, it is a thing of beauty. I mean, just look at it, it's gorgeous. Now the only thing I did is, I tried to create a little bit of space between the slices with a toothpick because they did start to collapse inward. But the pie was really sturdy and it withstood me poking at it with a toothpick just fine. You can garnish your pie if you want, but I only did this because I had some leftover basil. It's beautiful on its own. Now, I had some difficulty getting my pie out of the dish, I'm not going to lie. And I think that was because of the pie server that I was using. I think it was just, you know, decorative, probably good to look at, not very functional. In future, I would use something a little bit, uh, a little bit more sturdy. And there you have it, a really impressive pie, both in terms of how it looks and how it tastes. Saw it on Pinterest, nailed it. I think this would serve six people at the most, and if you give it a go, take a photo, post it on Instagram, and tag me in your food creations so that I can see what you're making. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.